Hello students, I am Sir Glenn, your subject teacher. Welcome to General Mathematics Grade 11. We've now arrived in the third module which is entitled one-to-one -one inverse functions. Ano nga ba ang ibig sabihin ng one-to-one -one function at ano ang ibig sabihin ng inverse function? So our first lesson is all about representations of real-life situations using one-to-one -one functions. Our objectives, first, to identify whether a real-life situation is a one-to-one -one function or not. And the second, identify whether a relation is a one-to-one -one function or not, given its graph, table of values, mapping or mapping diagram, and equation. Study the mapping carefully. So, how many elements of set B correspond to each of the elements of set A? So, looking uh, at the mapping, if we try to look very carefully, lahat ng elements ni A ay naipair sa unique element ni set B. Okay, si 1 naipair kay 5. Iisang arrow lang yung nanggaling kay 1, papunta kay 5. Same lang din sa 2, isang arrow lang din yung nanggaling kay 2, papunta kay 7. Isang arrow lang din yung nangyari, nanggaling kay 3 from from 3 going to 11 at isang element lang din ni or isang arrow lang din yung nanggaling kay 4 papunta kay 9. So, uh, bawat element ni B may unique element na nanggaling or naipair sa kanya from set A. So, definitely, this is an example of a one-to-one -one function. One-to-one -one function siya kasi bawat element ni A ay naipair sa unique element ni B. Okay? Uh, unique yung pairing nilang dalawa. 1 ay para lang kay 5. Si 2 para lang kay 7. Si 3 para lang kay 11. At si 4 para lang kay 9. Okay? One-to-one -one function. So, let's have an activity. We determine whether the relation is a one-to-one -one function or not. So, determine whether the relation is one-to-one -one or not. First uh, item. So, as you can see, uh, let's try to identify si 5 na i-pair kay 1, si 7 na para lang kay 0, si negative 3 para na i-pair kay 4, pero may panibagong number si 2 na i-pair kay 4. So, naulit si 4, so that means, as you can see, uh, tig isang arrow lang yung nanggaling sa bawat element dito, Definitely, this is a function, pero hindi siya one-to-one -one kasi may naulit dito. na pair si 4 kay negative 3 at kay positive 2. Second item. So, looking at the elements in set A, si negative 2 na-i-pair kay 5, si 4 kay 0, 8, 12, 13, and 18. Walang naulit dito, walang uh, tigisang arrow lang yung nanggaling sa kanila at tigisang arrow lang din yung napunta sa mga elements dito. Therefore, this is a function and it is a one-to-one -one function. Third item. So, you can see, C1 na i-pair kay uh, dalawang, items ni, dalawang elements ni B which are 1 and negative 1. C4 na i-pair sa dalawang elements ni B which are 2 and negative 2. So, in our previous lessons, kapag uh, represented yung relation through mapping diagram, kapag nakita mo na more than one arrow yung nanggaling sa elements ni A uh, ibig sabihin, hindi siya function. De definitely not a function at hindi siya function, hindi siya one-to-one. -one. Okay? Fourth item, si 2 na i-pair kay 3, 4 kay 5, si 6 kay 7, si 8 kay 9. So, tig isang arrows lang yung nanggaling sa bawat element ni A. At tig isang arrow lang din yung dumating sa bawat elements ni B. So, definitely, function siya and then one-to-one -one function siya. Okay? So, last item. Si 1 na i-pair kay 1. Si negative 1 na i-pair kay 1 ulit dito. Si 2 na i-pair kay 4. Si negative 2 na i-pair kay 4. So, as you can see, uh, sa lahat ng elements ni A, tig isang arrow lang yung nanggaling sa kanila. Pero, if we will look sa elements ni B, uh, si 1, dalawang arrow yung dumating sa kanya. Si 4, dalawang arrow yung dumating din sa kanya. So, definitely, naulit si 1, naulit si 4. So, function siya, pero hindi siya 1 to 1. Bakit siya function? 
lahat ng elements ni A tig isang arrow lang yung yung nanggaling sa kanila kaya siya function hindi siya one to one kasi si one na ulit na na pair na pair siya kay one na negative one si four na ulit din na 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 pair siya kay two at kay negative two okay so one to one siya kapag lahat ng elements dito ay na pair sa unique elements ni uh, B okay so what if the given are real life situations we analyze the following statements and identify whether each relation is a function. If it is a function, we determine whether it is one-to-one. -one. The relation pairing an SSS member to his or her SSS number. So our answer will be, each SSS member is assigned a unique SSS number. Walang uh, isang tao na dalawa ang kanyang SSS number, bawal yun. Okay, so definitely, this relation is a function. Furthermore, two SSS members cannot be assigned the same SSS number. So, kapag SSS member ka, unique yung SSS number mo, wala kang kapareho na SSS number. So, definitely, yung function na ito ay 1 to 1. Okay? Second example, the relation pairing a real number to its square. So, real number, pupunta sa kanyang square. Like, for example, si 3. Ano yung square ni 3? We have 9. Pero, kung titignan natin, yung negative 3, ang square din niya ay 9. So, our, our answer will be, each real number has its corresponding perfect square. Thus, the relation is a function. Function siya. Pero, Two different real numbers such as 2 and negative 2 may have the same square. Si 2 kapag yung square natin siya, 2 squared is 4. Si negative 2 kapag yung square natin siya, negative 2 squared is also 4. So, naulit si 4. So, thus, the function is not 1 to 1. Okay? For example, the relation pairing an airport to its airport code. For example, MNL for Manila, SEB for Cebu. And then DVO for Davao, J, JK, uh, JFK para sa uh, uh, John F. Kennedy Airport sa New York City. So, our answer will be, since each airport has a unique airport code, the relation is a function. Unique yan. Okay? Also, since no two airports share the same airport code, the function is 1 to 1. Okay? Last example, the relation pairing a person to his or her citizenship. So like for example, si Maria, ang citizenship niya ay Filipino. Pero if we will analyze, si Maria pwede rin, uh, pwede rin, pwede rin, pwede siya magkaroon ng dual citizenship kapag naniraan siya ng uh, matagal sa Amerika, pwede siyang maging citizen, maging American citizen. So, our answer will be, the relation is not a function because a person can have dual citizenships. Okay? Si Maria pwedeng maging American, pwedeng maging Filipino. Okay? Let's try to define one-to-one -one function. A one-to-one -one function is a function where each element of the domain corresponds to exactly one element of the range and vice versa. So, dapat bawat element ni domain, unique element niya, may pair sa unique element din ni range. Okay, and vice versa. One to one, dapat uh, wala siyang kaagaw, parang ganun. Okay? A normal function can have two different input values that produce the same answer but a one-to-one -one function does not. Kapag normal function, uh, okay lang na may maulit kay y. Pero kapag ang pinag-uusapan natin ay one-to-one -one function, bawal na maulit. Okay? Dapat wala siyang ma walang maulit na element from set A, walang maulit na x, at wala ding maulit dapat na y. For example, the function f of x is equal to x squared is not a one-to-one -one function because it produces 4 as the answer when you input both a 2 and a negative 2. But the function f of x is equal to x minus 3 
is a one-to-one -one function because it produces a different answer for every input. Okay? So how to identify whether a function is one-to-one -one or not? So how do we represent a function? We can represent a function in four different ways. Through its table of values, through its mapping diagram, through its graph, and through its equation. So let's begin in the first representation, table of values. So paano natin malalaman kung one-to-one -one siya kapag ang given ay table of values? A function represented by its table of values is one-to-one -one if each x value is paired to a unique y value. So ang technique dyan, titignan natin yung x at y. Dapat walang mauulit doon sa x at wala ding mauulit kay y. Examples. Identify whether each one, each is one-to-one -one or not. So, in example A, tingnan natin sa x kung may naulit ba. Negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. Kay y, may, may naulit ba? Negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. Since walang naulit, definitely this is one-to-one. -one. Okay? Example, num example number 2. So, lahat ng x ba? Let's try to observe. Negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. So, walang naulit. How about y? So, we have 9, 4, 1, 0, 1, 4, and 9. So, nakita natin na naulit si 1, naulit si 4, at naulit si 9. Since may naulit na element ni y, definitely this is not 1 to 1. Okay, that is the case if uh, the function is represented by its table of value. How about mapping diagram? So, a function represented by its mapping is one-to-one -one if each value in set A is paired to a unique value in set B. So, titignan natin kung lahat ba ng elements ni A ay naipair sa unique element ni B. So, examples, identify whether each is one-to-one -one or not. So, as you can see, observing the elements uh, of A and B, si 1 naipair kay 6, si 2 naipair kay 7, 3 na i-pair kay 8, si 4 na i-pair kay 5. Since lahat ng elements ni A ay na i-pair sa unique element ni B, walang naulit kay A, walang naulit kay B. So therefore, this is 1 to 1. Second example, so you can see si, si 3 na i-pair kay 9, and then si negative 3 na i-pair ulit kay 9. 4 na i-pair kay 16, negative 4 na i-pair kay 16. So since naulit si 9, dalawang arrows yung dumating sa kanya from A, uh, same is true kay 16. Dalawang arrows yung dumating sa kanya from A. Naulit si 9 and 16. Ibig sabihin, hindi siya 1 to 1. Okay? A function represented graphically is 1 to 1 if it satisfies the horizontal line test. Okay? So, masasabi natin na 1 to 1 yung function kapag nasatisfy nyo yung horizontal line test. Ano nga ba yung horizontal line test? It is a, uh, a function f is one-to-one -one if and only if no horizontal line drawn through the graph of f intersects it more than one. So if we try to draw many horizontal lines doon sa ating graph, kapag uh, once lang, niya, once lang na touch ng horizontal line natin yung graph, ibig sabihin, one-to-one -one siya. Kapag more than once naman, Kung, for example, two or three times niyang na-touch or greater than that yung, yung graph, ibig sabihin, hindi na siya one-to-one. -one. So remember, a one-to-one -one function f satis satisfies both the vertical and the horizontal line tests. Take note of that. Examples. Identify whether each is one-to-one -one or not. So as you can see, if we try to draw horizontal lines here, kahit ilang horizontal line yan, uh, yung horizontal line, it only touches the graph at exactly one point. So therefore, this is a one-to-one. -one. Okay? Second example, as you can see, kung magdrawing tayo dito ng horizontal line, twice na siyang na-touch, twice na-touch ni horizontal line yung ating graph. Ibig sabihin, hindi ito one-to-one. Understood? How about its equation? How can we say if it is one-to-one -one based from its equation? So a function represented by its equation is one-to-one -one if it can be shown algebraically 
that for a and b in the domain of the function, if f of a is equal to f of b, then a is equivalent to b. Example, identify whether each is one to one or not. So f of x is equal to 2x plus 3. So our solution will be, suppose a and b are in the domain of f. We need to show that if f of a is equal to f of b, then a is equal to b. So, dapat kapag isolve natin ito, ang lalabas dapat sa ending niya ay a is equal to b. So, we have f of a is equal to f of b. Substituting a sa x, we have 2a plus 3. And substituting b doon sa x, we have 2b plus 3. So, adding negative 3 to both sides, we have 2a plus 3 and then negative 3 and then 2b plus 3 plus negative 3. So 3 minus 3 will be 0, and then 3 minus 3 is also 0. So we have 2a is equal to 2b. Multiplying 1 half to both sides, we have 1 half times 2a is equal to 2b. So 2a, 1 half times 2a is 2a all over 2, or ma cancel na yung 2, ma iwan si a. 2b times 1 half is equal to 2b all over 2, maka cancel na rin si 2. So ang ma iwan din ay b. Since we come up, we came up with a is equal to b as our final result. The function f of x is equal to 2x plus 3 is a 1 to 1 function. Understood? Example b, identify whether this is a 1 to 1 or not. f of x is equal to x squared. So our solution will be, suppose a and b are in the domain of f. We need to show that if f of a is equal to f of b, then a is equal to b. Same doon sa unang example. If we solve this one, dapat ang uh, uh, final result, a is equal to b. Para mataw, masabi natin na one to one siya. So we have f of a is equal to f of b substituting a kay x. At sub substituting b kay x, we have a squared is equal to b squared. Adding negative b squared to both sides, we have a squared plus negative b squared is equal to b squared plus negative b squared. So, uh, positive times negative is negative, and then b squared minus b squared mag zero na siya, kaya is equal to zero. Factoring a squared minus b squared, we have a plus b times a minus b is equal to zero. Using the zero factor property, we can equate both factors to zero. So we have a plus b is equal to zero, and a minus b is equal to zero. Solving for a, we have a is equal to negative b and a is equal to b. Ita transpose natin si positive b here, papunta kayo right side, magiging negative. We transpose negative b here, going to the right, magiging positive b. Since we obtained a is equal to negative b as one of the results, it does not satisfy the condition. Bakit? Kasi ang dapat result lang ay a is equal to b. Since may panibagong result which is a is equal to negative b, Therefore, the function f of x is equal to x squared is not 1 to 1. Understood? For the activity, we have the supplemental activity 3.1. So, we read, you read the instructions carefully in each activity, then give the best or correct answer. So, I'll be sending uh, an image of these activities in our group chat. Part 1. Identify whether each relation is a 1 to 1 function or not. Write W if it is 1 to 1, otherwise write N. Second part, write E if the statement is true, otherwise write F. And part 3, complete the table by identifying if each relation is a function and a 1 to 1 function or not. Write yes if the given relation is a function and a one-to-one -one function, otherwise, write no. So sa part na to, kung function ito, you write yes. Kung hindi siya function, no. Sa part na to, kung one-to-one -one ito, you write yes. Kung hindi siya one-to-one, -one, you write no. Understood? Submission of all outputs will be on Friday.